ditch desperate effort to end the NBA lockout, David Stern and Billy Hunter are holding a secret meeting, hoping to save the NBA season. All right, Stern. We've been here for six months. Are the owners willing to increase the minimum salary and keep the Larry Bird exception? No way, Billy. We wouldn't grant the Larry Bird exception to Larry Bird. Are the players willing to accept our last offer on league revenues? These freaking revenues. Please. Well, I'll have to ask the players' union. Once they vote, I have to check with Patrick and Alonzo and Barkley. Apparently, y'all ain't taking me serious. So now, I'm gonna show you what the independent and independent arbitrator means. Uh, uh. Yeah. What the hell just happened? What just happened? What just happened is David Falk won't be holding up these negotiations anymore! I think I'm ready to sign that uh, contract. <laughs> oh, now you want to settle? You want to settle? Well, it's too late for that! You know, fellas, I think I need to remind you of just how many people suffer. You know how many big and tall shops went out of business because these brothers couldn't afford to go out and shop? You know how many brothers were forced to watch hockey? You gave Dennis Rodman so much free time, he went out and got married. Now, here's my list of demands. First, each team will play double headers. And don't tell me they can't because anybody who's played ball has played full court all day, every day. Next, in post-game interviews, no player will be allowed to refer to himself in the third person, especially Carl Malone. And I want all these players to work on fundamentals. Free throws, dribbling, setting picks. No more of this doing movies like Mike, Shaq, and Rick Fox. Just because you can rent a movie doesn't mean you can be in one. And last, Patrick Ewing will not be allowed to shoot 20-foot jump shots. He's a sinner for crying out loud. You ready to deal? Uh, maybe we could uh, schedule a meeting uh, with some of the owners. Just shut up and say yes! Yes. Yes. Now, if you guys just sign here, I'll cut you loose. Oh, and I got good news. I didn't really throw David Falk out that window. Oh, I knew it. That guy's such an ass. Yeah. He can't be killed. <laughs>